Toronto, the home of Wendell, Dougie, Matt, Sittler, so much history. What a great atmosphere here tonight. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Islanders will look to go in the offensive as they win the opening draw. Great heads up play in the neutral zone by Marner. Long jam in front, that's broken up. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. New York's got a hold of it against the wall. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, the refs have seen enough in this one now, and they're going to get offsetting penalties or coincidentals. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. On a four-on-four, -four, you can expect all players on the ice when you're possessing the puck to activate. You have to be able to support the puck carrier, and if you're a defender, you know you're jumping into a lane going north. It's a two-on-one. Broken up, what a play defensively. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. The Islanders get a hold of the puck along the boards. With some open space at center. Drives it to the crease! Oh, he saved it! Oh my goodness, what a stop! Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. From the blue line, they take control of it. Here's a short pass to Pellet. Oh, what a save in front! Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone! Takes it in the corner! of confidence to be able to make this play and not just for the puck movement and the puck skills you have to have in tight quarters here James but also your awareness you have to have patience with the puck to draw the coverage to you and then open up that lane for the goal the Islanders finally break the ice and get the game's first goal yeah and it's an important one James because there's not much room out there and not much separating these two teams so that little bit of a cushion may give them the stir the press they need to be more consistent trying to get another one on the board and we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Islanders have taken a 1-0 lead. Nice job tying up his opponent. Denies him with the save! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Kellick's got a great defensive game, guys. A big part of that is his stick em up zone ability, which is his proficient stick checking in his own zone. He's known to be a responsible player, and you know his coaches put a lot of trust in him because of it. And it's a quick pass to Pellet. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. And he makes the save. Domi's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh! The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Shot! Oh, denies him with the paddle save! New York's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. The Leafs start with the puck in the road end. And now he moves it quickly to Matthews. And he takes the feed. And the puck skips away after that move. Marner's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there, and as a result, he loses it. Takes it to the front! Oh, you gotta love the effort as he blocks that! Zizekas is showing his never-say-die attitude, and it's a reason why he's a leader on this team, and everyone looks to him by example. Why that example is in front of the net with a stick on the puck, falling to the ice, last-ditch effort and attempt to get a scoring chance, and he does. Quick pass to Paul Mary. Grabs the puck. Rips it from the blue line. Toronto's regained possession of the puck. Now a quick pass to Matthews. 
The Islanders gain possession along the wall. Takes the puck at the point. Stopped by the goaltender. What an incredible save in a high danger scoring area. I mean, right in the slot, he's in perfect position to make that club save. Past the midway mark of the frame. New York's up one zip. Tavares wins possession off the draw. Slides it back to the blue line. Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Islanders look to be on a mission tonight, already up by two here, and we're still only in the first. Well, the mission is possible because they've been dominant out there tonight, James. They've been relentless. They competed for pucks, loose pucks at will. I mean, they've outbattled their opponent, and now they're sitting with a two-goal cushion. With possession along the wall. New York's got the puck along the boards. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. The Leafs get a hold of the puck in their own end. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Receives the pass. And now it's grabbed by Bertuzzi. From the point, they take control of it. And he gets in the lane to block that. Across the line along the left wall. Taken by Domi. Right up and cut into the attacking zone. Works it across to Leiderson. Moves the pass in front. And he denies that. Great opportunity there. Here in the late goings of the period, the Islanders have all the momentum right now, leading by two. New York's won the defensive zone draw. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes a hit, but still hangs on to the puck. The Leafs take it across the line. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. If you'd like to cross shoulders with some of our players, don't forget to go to our website and check out our next show. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? New York's got a two-goal lead heading into the second period, and I'm not surprised, actually just a little surprised, it's not more. They've dictated pace and tempo. They've been aggressive and hounded pucks. But in particular, one of the reasons why they've been most successful is they found the shooting lanes, and they're putting the puck to the net. goal all the way around here, James. I mean, the incredible vision to make this pass. It's about seeing where that player is going to be one step before they get there and then hitting it tape to tape. That pass is on the money and it winds up in the back of the net. The Islanders have made it a triple here in the second period. What a lead they've got now. And the coach loves this because you can look down your bench and you know that you can utilize everyone because everyone is firing on all cylinders. They're like a wave out there. They're first to the puck. They're moving it quickly. They're connected. And they're authoritative when they're driving the net. It's awesome to watch. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Tavares is the captain of this team. He's very aware of the situation. They're down in a hole, but what better opportunity to get back in it with this face-off right here? Quick feed to Mulgrim. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Passes up ahead from the left wing. Odd man rush. Tremendous glove save by Samsonov. The Islanders continue to lead big here in this second period. Here's a change. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, a clutch save! Samson 
Chaos really struggled tonight, and the team in front of them as well. They've got to find a way to get back on track. They need to switch the momentum of this game if they want to get back in it. Sends it to the middle, and that's stopped. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. The Islanders have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. And they win the draw on their own end. Loses his balance on the play. And that was off a player in front. Engvall's got it in the defensive end. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. New York's coaches were preaching lots of shots on net, and they have done it and lead as a result here in the second. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Grabbed along the board by Riley. And he hangs on to the puck. Handles the pass from the right wing. Runs him hard into the wall. From behind the net. And he slides it quickly to Riley. From the slot, wrist shot denies it in front. A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, New York's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Horvat's won it off the faceoff. Barzell stick-handling in his own zone. Dumps it in. The Leafs have it against the wall. Through center. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. And that's deflected. New York's got the puck here in the open ice. Toronto's gained possession. Fires it. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. New York's across the blue line. The Leafs will play the puck from behind the net. Moves it to Marner. Moves it to Matthews. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Puck set over to Lee. Oh, slot. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Moves it quickly over to Pullock. And the stick is best friend on that save right there. New York's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Islanders win the faceoff. New York's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. New York's got control of it now from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Shot, and takes that one right in the chest and gobbles it up. New York's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Pachos won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. It's shipped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. There's the whistle. Let's get the official decision. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. New York sent in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the faceoff. New York's won the draw, and they'll go to work. And that's blocked from someone in front. And he serves it across to Engvall. Off the boards and up the middle now. Here's a short pass to pull up. New York's got him along the wall. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Toronto's got it across the line. 
uppercut into the glove by Sorokin. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Denied by Samsonov. Here's a chance behind the net. Quick pass to Lee. Scores! They convert on the power play and get it done. And it's so important when you're on the power play to have precise execution of your passes, and you're able to move the coverage. That's exactly what they did, and they're able to convert. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. The Islanders continue to hammer the accelerator here in the late stage of period number two. It's been attack, attack, attack all night long. Yeah, they have the puck on their stick. They've driven the net when they've had the opportunity. And, I mean, they just played well. They've been dominant tonight, James. Second intermission approaching quickly here. Chance in front! Incredible save, no idea how he got to that one, James, and the shooter is absolutely stunned. What a stop. Oh All alone, what a save of the play. Oh, James, I thought he had it. He was out and he could have faked and moved the tender, but he got it himself in a little too tight when he made it. And man, what a nice save. New York's offense has come to shine here tonight as we look at the score here late in the second. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period, just around the corner. Fans, take a look to the sky. The whole team Zeppelin is loaded with prizes, and in your way, all the intermission long. Hope you're having a great night. Two periods down, one more to go, and they're ready to drop the puck here on period number three. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving face at one end of the ice. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Islanders have been terrific tonight, and in 40 minutes of play, they hold a comfortable lead, and this is a great position for a coach and their staff to be in, where they can look down their bench and say, listen, we have to utilize our lineup here, all four lines, versatility, get them out there and rest up players for the next game. Matthews setting up against the wall. Quick stop by Sorokin. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. The Islanders slide it through center. And that's broken up by Matthews. Great use of the stick at center by Barzell. And he slides it quickly to Brody. And it's a quick pass to Marner. From the left side, takes it to center. Clear it. New York's got the puck in their own end. Pellet's been brought down. We're going to get a penalty here. Ref's arms in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Let's get the official decision. Well, you don't see this very often, James. The first penalty is called. It's a delayed call and then multiple infractions afterwards. They put themselves in a real tough spot. Like it. No one likes it. 
in this building, that's for sure. I mean, fans are leaving. They paid money for this ticket, and if you're on the ice, you just want to crawl out of there, but you can't. There's more game to play. This is a tough one, James. tonight leading big time here in this third period. Toronto's going to start with the puck in their own end. Up the neutral zone now. Great reach with the hook check. New York staring down a shutout late in the game. You know they're going to do the best to protect their goaltender to ensure that they get it. But at the end of the day, it's about bragging rights. Listen, the other team isn't able to score. They're not able to penetrate the inside of the ice and cash in. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. they got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. The Islanders once again send out their power play unit. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the place is to attack is. And he was locked in on that save as play continues. The Leafs move to the offensive zone. Play is called for offside. Matthews hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. Toronto's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Islanders take over on possession. Poked away in the neutral zone by Marner. Moves it quickly over to Barzell. Gets in the lane with the body. Answered the call on that play. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. Back in right front. Oh, puts it wide and oh, you know he'll want that one back. Well, you can see the frustration right there. I think there was a sense of urgency, but he had more time than he thought. And that's knocked away. Quick pass across to Paul Mary. The Leafs gain control of the puck. Angles it over to Burley. Yarncroft's almost out of the box. Some would say it's not a big deal as they have a comfortable lead and they don't execute on the power play. I would say different. Oh, well, there's going to be a call on that one, James. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. Paul Mary's going off for boarding. Here's a first look at the power play. Well, here comes the top unit power play. They've been tremendous this season. They have an opportunity to ignite their team and get back in the game. And manages to clear the zone. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. The Islanders have the puck now. And just like that, from out of nowhere, it comes up with the puck. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Puck picked up by Yarncroft. Desperate to get it out of the zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. The Leafs gain possession. Slides it diagonally to Domi. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Now a quick pass to Klingberg. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Ten seconds. Moves it to the middle. Takes a blast. Oh, stick save and a butte. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. The Leafs get a hold of the puck. Pulak's got it to the neutral zone. Driving right to the front. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Here's an odd man rush. Here's 
a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Toronto's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Now he takes it over the line. Poked away at center by Pulak. Big stop right there. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Well, he's been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Final seconds of this one, an absolute clunker performance by the home team, and the fans are letting them hear it. And they score! Uh, I really like the effort areas in this game, James. You know, they didn't get frustrated, but they have found a way to break through in this game. you got to figure, you got to hope that maybe they can shell one back-to-back -back here and get themselves back in this game. Well, how about this goal, James? It's a beauty as he dangles his way to the net. I mean, he doesn't have much speed, but he recognizes where his opponent is. He just manipulates them at will, and he cashes in. The Islanders have pummeled their opponents tonight. They have been the busier team offensively and have converted numerous times here in this third period. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Cheryl, how do you describe this W tonight? Well, when you're getting a lot of shots on net, it means you're getting in the offensive zone, and sometimes any shot is a good shot when you're picking up the rebound. Great night of action on the ice, and I can't wait to do it again. I know you can't wait either, so we'll see you next time, and real soon at that.